We can bring our desires into reality solely through visualization, without the need for additional actions. In today's video, we will delve into Neville Goddard's teachings on visualizing desires, addressing common questions about manifestation techniques. A frequent inquiry is whether visualization is mandatory for manifestation, with some questioning if achieving their desires is possible without engaging in any form of visualization. Another concern is what to do if one can visualize but encounters challenges in materializing their desires. Indeed, there is an alternative, simpler method to manifest without relying on visualization. While visualization involves maintaining a clear focus on one's desire and envisioning oneself already possessing it, there are various techniques available, and it's not the exclusive path to manifestation. Personally, I have found that creating a dominant thought or central story within myself yields the best results. This thought serves as a declaration of my desire, and invariably, it comes to fruition. Whether it's desiring a relationship or envisioning embracing a partner, the key is to engage in activities that help in imagining and feeling as though the desired outcome has already been achieved. Neville Goddard's teachings emphasize the importance of imagining oneself in possession of what is sought. The essence is to use any method that aids in imagining and feeling the fulfillment of desires. The primary objective of manifestation techniques is to facilitate a focus on desires and decisive decision making. Visualization, while effective, is not a universal requirement. The critical factor is maintaining unwavering focus and belief in the realization of the desired outcome. Believing that one always attains their desires makes visualization more potent. Consider the example of wanting a can of Coca-Cola. The mere thought prompts an image or understanding of its significance. Declaring that you will have it, coupled with positive thoughts, results in swift and effortless manifestation. Negative thoughts, such as doubting the process or feeling others have it because you don't, hinder manifestation. Repeated success attests to the effectiveness of stating desires, focusing on them, visualizing, letting go, and maintaining positive thoughts. This approach consistently yields quick and effortless manifestation. I don't have to meticulously plan scenes or repeat the process multiple times a day. It doesn't demand a significant time investment. Making manifestation effortless is within your grasp. Begin by declaring your central story. I consistently receive what I desire. Then, assert that it will be granted to you. Foster positive thoughts about it. If it crosses your mind again, leave it on a positive note, as if it's unfolding or I stated my desire, so I've received it. You understand the outcome because you comprehend that your thoughts shape reality. This central story, proclaiming your ability to attain your desires, shapes and materializes in your life. Hence, whenever you articulate a desire, it manifests because your story dictates so. Simplify manifestation by merely stating your wants. You already grasp their significance to you. If you desire something, you know its essence, how it feels, or what it symbolizes. You cannot desire or possess something that doesn't exist. Having a preference for a particular car, boyfriend, or girlfriend is natural. Chances are you've encountered similar things around you. When you express the desire for a girlfriend with specific features, you likely have come across someone with those characteristics. The point is, your mind comprehends what you mean when you articulate your desires. For instance, when I express a desire for a perfect red car, 
I precisely understand my preference, even if I can't visualize it in the same manner. When you express a desire for a girlfriend who is perfect for you, a clear image may not form. It could be someone in your arms presenting flowers or an individual with a radiant smile. The concept of perfect varies among individuals. Your subconscious mind retains all the details. Thus, when you affirm the desire for an affectionate or financially savvy person, your mind retains these specifics. Subsequently, when you express the desire for a person perfect for you, your mind recalls these traits, even if a vivid mental image is absent. You still comprehend what perfect signifies to you. This aids in guiding you toward the person who aligns with your definition of perfection. Therefore, the essence of visualizing your desire is to remind your subconscious mind of what you seek. More crucially, it's about believing in your ability to attain it. Visualization serves to concentrate on your desire, further impressing it upon your subconscious mind. When someone advises you to visualize what you desire, it's to direct your focus toward your aspirations and envision yourself achieving them. The individuals you encounter in real life become tangible representations of your concentrated statements about your desires. Neville Goddard shared various visualization methods to help us center our focus on our desires. Concentrating on your desires is a potent means of impressing your mind, bringing them to fruition. When you articulate your desires, you are essentially making a choice about what you wish to have or experience. Subsequently, you know it will happen because your central story affirms it. Your thoughts shape your reality, rendering it true for you. For instance, if I aspire to take a trip to Florida, I initially affirm my central story declaring, I state my desires, and they materialize. I consistently receive what I desire. Subsequently, I express my wish to visit Florida, engaging in enjoyable activities and embracing new experiences, even though it's a destination I've never visited before. My mind comprehends the significance of this to me because I've glimpsed images of palm trees, the beach, exploring a city, trying out new shops, drinks, and restaurants. Perhaps I encountered these visuals on travel websites, travel shows, or even on TV the long time ago, and my subconscious effortlessly retains these memories. Merely by narrating my desired story and its particulars, I'm already directing my attention towards it. If I conclude it with a positive thought, it will manifest, irrespective of when or where it materializes, as long as I maintain a positive mindset. Neville's daughter firmly believed in the incredible power of our thoughts. What we think, we attract into our lives. It all boils down to the energy we project into the universe. Hence, it's crucial to be conscious of your thoughts and concentrate on what you desire, steering clear of dwelling on what you don't want. It's imperative to infuse your desires with a positive undertone. Persistent thoughts about what you don't want can draw more of those unwanted elements into your life. Instead, Channel your focus towards what you want and visualize yourself in possession of it. In certain instances, undesirable events unfold in our lives, events we wish to avoid. However, they transpire because, on some level, we harbor the belief that they can happen to us, even if we vehemently oppose them. Our belief in the potentiality of these occurrences shapes our reality. Therefore, it's crucial to manifest only the things you genuinely desire. Concentrating on unfavorable aspects can inadvertently bring them into manifestation. Foster a steadfast belief that you consistently attain what you desire, and you undoubtedly will. 
Your central story serves as the linchpin. If you wholeheartedly believe that you invariably receive what you desire, the manifestation will follow suit. Your thoughts wield the power to shape your reality, so ensure they are positive and in harmony with your aspirations. While visualizing what you desire is a potent tool, it's not always a prerequisite for manifestation. The crux lies in decisively determining what you want and focusing on it with unwavering intent. The more attention you direct toward it, the more your belief strengthens, and the stronger your belief, the more pronounced the manifestation becomes. You can express your desires spontaneously as they come to mind. It's an effective way to visualize what you want. It's simpler and more natural than meticulously planning an entire scene. Clearly articulate what you want, incorporating details that evoke positive feelings. This process aids in generating the sensation that you already possess it, aligning with the vibrational state necessary for manifestation. Declaring your desires is akin to choosing what you want to welcome into your life or experience next, and then it becomes the universe's task to bring it to you at the perfect moment. For example, if you desire a new girlfriend, articulate your wants specifically. Visualize yourself with the ideal partner, focusing on the qualities you seek. Envision what it feels like to have that person in your life. This practice is pivotal for concentrating on what you wish to manifest. Mere verbalization is insufficient. It's akin to setting an intention and trusting that it will materialize. The sense of certainty that comes with knowing you already have what you want is ineffable. This principle isn't exclusive to substantial desires like finding love. It extends to simpler aspirations as well. Utter your desires aloud, believing with unwavering conviction that you already see yourself in possession of them and they will manifest. For instance, if you desire unexpected financial gain, vocalize your wish and imagine yourself with the money. The certainty that it will happen stems from the understanding that your thoughts shape reality. This mental state is as potent as physically possessing it because it readies you for the optimal state of being that paves the way for manifestation into reality. Now, I'm not asserting that this approach will universally apply. What proves most effective for me may not yield the same results for you, but it's worth experimenting, isn't it? Explore various methods to concentrate on your desires and determine what resonates best with you, whether it involves detailed visualization or the straightforward articulation of your wants. Identify the technique that fosters positivity and unwavering focus. I trust I've provided a comprehensive analysis of Neville Goddard's concept. Naturally, this doesn't imply unanimous agreement with everything he espoused, as individual perspectives vary. This is why we scrutinize and deliberate on his ideas and methods, seeking a comprehensive understanding of his overarching approach. Ultimately, he was an esteemed teacher who left an indelible impact on millions worldwide. Feel free to share your views in the comments section, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, kindly do so and hit the bell icon for more engaging and insightful videos on manifestation. Thank you for watching. Look forward to the next video.